Airbus Beluga is one of the most unique and recognizable aircraft in the world. Its characteristic whale shape attracts hundreds of plane spotters whenever the aircraft visits an airport. And even though the original version has been flying since 1995, the new enhanced variant, based on the Airbus A330, is the most mysterious aircraft in the world. Watch this video to learn why. But first, let's answer the question of why was this aircraft ever constructed? When it comes to super transporters, the original Beluga was a revolutionary solution to a problem Airbus faced in the early 1990s. As demand for their planes grew, so did the complexity of moving large aircraft parts from one factory to another for final assembly. Imagine trying to transport massive wings or fuselage sections across multiple countries. The standard cargo planes at the time simply couldn't handle such oversized loads, and ground transport, including ships and barges, was too slow and impractical. This is where the Airbus Beluga came in, solving a critical logistics puzzle. The initial Beluga ST or Super Transporter first flew in 1995, and its design was based on the Airbus A300. Engineers modified the A300 to create a cargo hold that could carry parts up to 47 tons, including the wings of Airbus's biggest jets at the time. Its characteristic shape earned it the nickname Beluga after the Arctic whale, and it quickly became a vital part of Airbus's supply chain. The Beluga could move large aircraft components faster and more efficiently, cutting down on production delays. However, as the years passed, Airbus's demand for larger and faster transport solutions grew. The aerospace industry was expanding rapidly, and new aircraft models like the A350 required even bigger wings and fuselage sections that the Beluga ST could no longer handle efficiently. That's when Airbus realized it was time for an upgrade. But what makes the Beluga XL, which was launched in 2018, so special? Is it simply a bigger version of its predecessor, or is there something more to this flying behemoth? The truth is, the Beluga XL isn't just an upgrade, it's an entirely new aircraft, with only a similar look to the predecessor. But let's first take a quick look at the journey from the original Beluga to the Beluga XL, which will help you understand why this new aircraft is such a game changer. The development of the Beluga XL began with one primary goal in mind, to support the growing production demands. Initially, Airbus thought about leasing Antonov 124 or 225 or using military A400 aircraft, which is also produced by Airbus. There were even plans to use Boeing aircraft as Airbus cargo transporters. Finally, the company decided to create a completely new aircraft based on one of the passenger aircraft. While the Beluga Super Transporter was based on the A300, the Beluga XL is based on the larger and more modern Airbus A330-200. This was a deliberate choice by Airbus, as the A330 offered not only more cargo space but also better performance, fuel efficiency, and modern avionics. But that's just scratching the surface. The Beluga XL's fuselage is a full 6 meters longer and 1 meter wider than the Beluga ST, which translates to a 30% increase in cargo capacity. That extra space makes all the difference in the world when you're transporting the wings of an A350. The Beluga XL can carry up to 51 tons of cargo, compared to the 47 tons of its predecessor. This might not seem like a huge leap, but here's the catch. It can now transport two Airbus A350 wings in a single trip, something the original Beluga could never do. To put that into perspective, before the Beluga XL, Airbus had to send multiple Beluga ST flights just to move all the parts needed for a single A350. With the Beluga XL, production can proceed faster and more efficiently as fewer flights are needed. In an industry where time is money, this has been a massive game changer for Airbus's supply chain. But the size and capacity of the Beluga XL are only part of what makes it so impressive. Airbus also made sure to modernize the aircraft systems ensuring that it's equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and fuel-efficient engines. Based on the Airbus A330-200, the Beluga XL is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines, which provide both the power and fuel efficiency needed to haul such massive loads across vast distances. Thanks to these engines and other design improvements, the Beluga XL offers up to a 20% reduction in fuel consumption compared to the original Beluga ST. 
This is a crucial factor for Airbus, as environmental concerns and rising fuel costs continue to play an increasingly important role in the aviation industry in the European Union. But here's where things get interesting. The Beluga XL isn't just about size and efficiency, it's also about personality. Unlike its predecessor, which had a somewhat understated design, the Beluga XL embraces its whale-like shape with flair. The nose of the aircraft has been painted to resemble a smiling beluga whale, complete with wide eyes and a playful expression. This design wasn't just a marketing stunt, it was a deliberate decision by Airbus to make the aircraft more recognizable and to symbolize the company's commitment to innovation and sustainability. And it worked. The Beluga XL has become a fan favorite among plane spotters and aviation enthusiasts who flock to airports whenever one of these giants is set to arrive. One of these situations happened when the Beluga arrived at Heathrow Airport in September 22. So, why was the development of the Beluga XL so critical for Airbus? The answer lies in the growing demand for wide-body aircraft. Airbus's A350 program in particular has been a huge success, with airlines around the world placing orders for hundreds of these long-range, fuel-efficient jets. But building the A350 requires transporting its massive components, particularly the wings, from Airbus's factories in Broughton, UK, to final assembly lines in Toulouse, France, and other locations. The original Beluga ST simply wasn't up to the task anymore. The increased production rates of the A350, combined with the growing need for parts transportation for other models like the A320 and A330, meant that Airbus needed a new, more capable aircraft to handle the workload. And that's exactly what the Beluga XL was designed to do. By 2024, Airbus had a full fleet of six Beluga XL aircraft in operation, marking the end of an era for the Beluga ST, which is gradually being phased out some of them are stored at Bordeaux Airport, and you can see it in my video. But don't think for a moment that the Beluga XL's story ends here. Airbus has big plans for this fleet, and they're not just limited to transporting aircraft parts. In recent years, the company has been exploring the possibility of using the Beluga XL for other industries. The aircraft's massive cargo hold makes it ideal for transporting oversized items like satellites, helicopters, and even yachts. As Airbus looks toward the future, one big question remains, what's next? Could we see an even larger, more advanced version of the Beluga? With advancements in automation, electric aircraft, and space travel, Airbus might one day develop planes capable of transporting components for space missions or entirely new vehicles that haven't even been imagined yet. For now, the Airbus Beluga XL stands as a powerful workhorse for Airbus logistics. Its massive capacity and unique design have made it an essential part of the Airbus manufacturing process. Thanks for watching. Please, as always, like this video and subscribe to my channel.